Unreal Engine, a suite of developer tools for building world-class interactive 3D experiences. It was created by Tim Sweeney at Epic Games in 1995, is written in C++, and was originally designed for first-person 3D shooter games. Today it's used to build AAA games like Fortnite for visual effects and TV shows like The Mandalorian, VR simulation in medicine and aviation, in addition to independent games by developers like you. At its core, the engine provides a standard architecture for implementing highly complex requirements, like 3D rendering, physics, animation, ray tracing, and a lot more. All this magic is accessible via its visual editor, where you can easily create levels and fill them with 3D objects called actors. Then to make a game interactive, it provides a visual scripting language called Blueprint, where you can program game logic without ever writing your own C++ code. When your creation is complete, Unreal can package it for desktop, mobile, and virtually any game console or VR platform. To build the next AAA billion dollar game franchise right now, download the Epic Games launcher, install Unreal engine and create a new project. First, go down to the content drawer, which is where all the game assets are saved. From here we can right click to create a new level. Then from the top navbar, add our first actor to it, like a shape that the player can collide with. It's currently invisible, but we can change the view mode to wireframe to view its geometry. And notice how it's been added to the outliner here, which is a hierarchy of your game objects. If we select the cube, we can now modify its properties. Its physical shape is defined by a mesh, which we can modify in isolation by clicking it. To make it look cool though, we need to apply a different material to the mesh. We could create a new material from scratch, or use one from the built-in starter content. It looks cool, but now we need some lighting. We could add a light actor, or better yet, use the environment light mixer to quickly add lights and atmosphere to the level. Now we need to create some land. Let's go into landscape mode, choose a material, like moss or gravel, then create it. We now have a flat surface to walk on, and we can sculpt it into mountains and valleys with the brush tool. Now go back to selection mode, select the cube, and tick the box to simulate physics. When you click play, you should now see the cube roll down the hill. But a game needs a controllable player, so let's add a character actor to the scene. And now it's time to do some actual programming with blueprints. Create a game mode blueprint to define the rules and scoring system of your game, then another blueprint for the character, then give the character a brain with a controller blueprint. If we open that blueprint, we can start coding game logic here in the event graph. Begin play runs when the level first loads, while tick runs on every frame. Now there are tons of built-in functions that you can run in response to these events, like print string. We can execute this function on every frame by connecting it to the tick event. And now when we run the game, it won't stop printing Hello World. With blueprints, you connect events, nodes, functions, and variables together to create interactive game elements. This has been Unreal Engine in 100 seconds. Hit the like button and let me know if you want to see a full Unreal tutorial in the comments. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.